I am Tim Binkley, Head of Special Collections and Archives at Berea College. These books are pretty heavy. Every volume, and I've read somewhere that they're, they're about 60 pounds each. I would think that anyone who loves birds would warm up to this book. It is the first set of books that put the birds with natural backgrounds in, behind them to reflect where you might see them. And if this bird is shown in a swamp, well, then you're going to see this in a wet area. If they show it in the desert, that's where you're going to find it. And that's really helpful to birders to figure out what kind of habitat to look in for a particular species and maybe whether that bird is high up in the canopy or down on the ground or somewhere in between. Those are all clues that John James Audubon tried to give us 200 years ago when he printed his first edition. The sides of the birds in the book, um, it, it, it's amazing. He tries to capture each one in their life size. So if it's a tiny bird, well, you're, you'll see a whole bunch of them on the page. And if it's a huge bird, he may have to crane the neck around or the wings around in such a way that it only shows part of the bird. The paper was his medium and he needed to make it fit on the paper. Still, he wanted to keep it in proportion to real live birds. It just fills out the whole page, and, and it's so impressive uh, to see the colors and um, the details of the feathers and the beaks and the talons up close, probably closer than you'll ever get to seeing those details on a bird, unless you're looking at a stuffed model in, in a museum. It makes me think of being out on field trips, taking hikes, and, um, and looking at these birds. They're, they're beautiful and they're free. So um, it's not like they're caged. And there's something about meeting an animal on its own turf um, that is different than just seeing it in a zoo. Because bird, birding isn't so much about walking around looking for birds. It's an awful lot of it is standing still and just experiencing them and letting them come to you. Lots of people come to Berea to bird. It makes sense to me that they would uh, maybe want to stop by Hutchins Library and make this part of that trip. Thank you.